Alright guys, so uh, welcome to a new video. I haven't made an unboxing in a while and it was worth it because uh, this time we're coming with a really big package. As you can see, this is a very big package. And uh, no, it is not Furbies, so if you came for Furbies, this is not the video for you. Here we actually have some sort of Ibo fake. Um, you might know it, you might not know it. It's uh, basically a robot dog. It's called Puppy AI Gizmo something. Um, I don't know if this one works. Uh, I think it's new, but I'm not sure it's definitely been opened before. Uh, I don't really know much about it because there's not much on the internet. It's basically just a knockoff Ibo, budget Ibo. Um, it should have a charging cable. I don't know if it does. So that's the problem. I don't know if it has a charging cable. I guess the seller would have fought to put it in if he had it. So um, we'll see if we get to test this. If not, we're going to have to find some solution or return it. I don't know. Uh, but let's get to unboxing because this looks hard to open. It has a really hard to open top. So uh, I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe not show this side. Um, oh man. Well, this is gonna take a while, so um, get some popcorn. Alright. Okay, big buddy. There's a bunch of tags on this box. I think it's been used before for um, shipping stuff. But don't you worry, I ripped my address off. You guys can't know where I live. No one's coming for me. Okay, hopefully we aren't ripping anything important. Okay, a bit more. Okay. And this comes... Oh god, right off. Let me take this a bit through here. Sorry guys, you can't see, but I'm uh, trying to open a part here. And some of the tape seems to be already ripped off. Maybe it's uh, been opened, uh, just as I said, it's been opened before and used before for shipping stuff. That's why some of the tape is ripped off. We have just a bit more. We're almost done. This is a huge box, I will be using this. I love boxes. Right, a bit through here. Oh, and we're almost done, guys. Let me just cut the last part and there we go guys this is open I'm going to take my phone up because this is too big excuse the mess over there you saw nothing let's open this and see what we actually got I don't even know how to turn this thing on just to be clear I don't even know how, how to turn this toy on and off I haven't seen any evidence of there being a button or anything this I don't know, just turns on by itself, I don't know. Hopefully there's a one uh, on-off switch. If there's not one, I'm, I'm locking this thing in the basement. Uh, let's see. Alright, here it is. This is a pretty big box. Oh, and by the way, this thing looks a lot like uh, an ERS-7 Ibo, I think. If my knowledge is correct, this looks a lot like, uh, I think it's a ripoff of uh, 7M1. I'm not sure, but I think so. Uh, so let's find a way to get this out. Okay, it's light. And let me take the big box away, because we don't need this. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's a bunch of bubble wrap, which I guess is good. Okay, let's... Let's turn this thing around. I think it's supposed to be like this. So here's what it looks like. As I said, it looks really much like an ERS-7. Um, it even has the same shape of ears, but I'm gonna show you on the actual dog if I get it out. If I figure out how to get it out. Okay. How does this open? I think from here? Okay. And here it is. Hold on. It's supposed to be the other way around. Other way around, hold on. Okay, there we go. Pull this whole thing out. And here it is. And we do have the charging cable. That's awesome. Oh, oh 
small dog is seeing me. Uh, it's a very short, small one, but I guess the dog is also really small. Like, it's small as my hand. Alright, let's uh, try to pull this off carefully without waking it up somehow. Because I have no idea how this thing wakes up. I gotta be really careful. Okay, hi. Let's get you out. Can I just pick you up? I think I can. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're heavy. You're heavy. Why are you heavy? Okay. Take this thing away. Now. And let's put you down. Alright. Um, very flimsy. I have to say. Very flimsy joints. These these ears are just like an ERS 7 I'm gonna rip this thing up, I think. Okay, careful. 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 Okay. Okay, this is really not wanting to come off. Okay. Gotta be really careful and slow. Alright, we got this thing off. The screen is really clean. Uh, right head joint movement. No up and down though. The tail is just like a, an eyeball, just a rubber tail. Let's see, let's check the leg joints. They should be able to move. Oh, this is making noise. Uh, this doesn't really seem to be. Oh, yeah, it does. Like this. It moves like this. So yeah, that's a nice thing. Um, is there any power button? No. I don't see any power button. Am I blind or is there no power button? Do I just need to charge it and to tur turn on like, oh, oh, I think I found it. I found it. Um, uh, it's right here, but just to be sure, I am going to charge this thing. This is the speaker hole. I'm going to charge it. And hopefully it doesn't wake up when I plug it in. That would be horrible, because um, it moves a lot. It moves around a huge lot. I don't know what this thing on the nose is. I don't think it has a camera. I don't think this thing has a camera, so I'm really wondering what this is. And also it doesn't have any kind of opening mouth. It's just uh, looking like it's opened. But the mouth doesn't open. It's just a plastic kind of mouth thing, but it doesn't actually open. Let's see, okay, we have we have an instruction manual, that's good. Uh, I wonder if this thing speaks uh, what commands it understands, because um, from what I know, I got this one from Poland, and I think there's a Spanish version, so that means there could be a Polish version as well. So if there's a Polish version, and this is the Polish version, I won't be able to uh, really give it commands unless I learn Polish, so... Um, that would be fun. Let's see. So the, the instruction manual is in English. This dog is very active. Please play on the flat open ground. Please read this instruction carefully before use and keep it well. Alright. LED. -I oh, alright. Here's here's answers to our questions. Hold on. Let me fo focus on this manual. So it says here the nose thing is... It doesn't want to focus, but I'm going to read it for you guys. Here it says the infrared sensing area. So this is infrared. I don't really know what could be, what the infrared could uh, be useful to it for. I don't think it really does anything with the infrared. It doesn't like uh, detect the object in front of it. So I have no idea what the infrared does. This is a microphone. So this is where you speak on the back right here. LED eyes, we know that. Oh, we can actually see the LEDs slightly. Hold on. If I, uh... You can actually see the screens a bit. Like the little, um... Just like an ERS-7. It has, like, the little, um... Screen, um... Uh, buttons. I don't know what to call them. Little LED... Bumps. I don't know. Okay, so it has a hip touch area. Basically just its butt. Like this. Um, on off switch, charging indicator light, uh, USB charging port, the chin touch area, hind legs driving wheel, front legs driving wheel. Alright, let's see. Uh, next page. Turn on off, micro USB charging 5 volts 1A, 
about one hour full of electricity, it can automatically turn off when it is charged. Okay, so it, it does turn off when it is charged. And the indicator light is red when charging and it is green when full of electricity. Please don't use it when charging. What do you mean when don't use it? You mean you mean don't use the dog or don't use the charging port? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna guess it doesn't want us using the dog while it's charging, but I don't see what why someone would do that. I don't know. Because this thing runs around. The standby. Guys, behold. The standby. Hold on, why is why is my phone not okay, there we go, there we go. The standby. Ten minutes, no operation, it can enter the standby state. If you just want to wake it up again, just click the head again. This was definitely Google translated. This, um, I think it's, uh, it's originally Chinese, because that's where all the fakes come, come from. So this is a fake, and it's obviously Google translated. Anyways, the head button in the awake state. Sure, press the head, interrupt the current action or voice into the voice interactive state. Okay, so... If you want to give it voice commands, you long press the head into the performing mode to show you the dancing with the music. Okay, that's very, very hard to read because it's not correct English. It's not good grammar, so it's really hard to understand. The chin touch area. He, he cries if you touch his chin. Hopefully he won't cry. Um, the hip touch area. Uh, touch the hip. It will sit down and wag the tail to you. Okay. The infrared sen okay there we go what what does it do what does the infrared do the infrared sensing area when the dog executes the voice command protect me if it detects someone in front it will make an alert call oh god i i don't see the use of this but i'm sure i can i can make a good use of it low power alarm when the power is low there will be voice prompts and the eyes show low power icon when the power is used up, it will automatically shut down. Okay, that's good to know. Training mode. Boot will enter the training mode. I don't understand this. Uh, support the following voice commands. You can speak different commands. The dog will quickly complete the corresponding actions. I doubt that it will quickly respond to them, but... Uh, only when dogs are still, they can understand what you're saying. When the dog is unable to get up or after the turn of the waist, don't force the dog waist. Turn turn it off, then put it on the ground. The dog will automatically adjust the body position and return to normal. So if if it if it's it falls over and it can't get up for some reason, you're gonna have to turn it off and turn it on again. Which I mean good enough for a fake. I mean it it can get up by itself from what I've seen in videos online. But there's very few videos of this thing online, so um, I don't really know. Um, okay, so he, this is all the voice commands. Puppy, sit down, get down, turn around, roll over, good boy, go to sleep, go pee pee, protect me, play dead, do stunts, showtime. So I've seen some of these online, but not all of them. Um, I have the app. Um, the app is only on iPhone and iOS. But I managed to get it on my Android. I'm not sure if it will work with uh, connecting this guy. But I'll check it out and I'll let you guys know. And get like a app interaction video. Here is just all you can do with the app. You can control it. Uh, you can program some dance moves and all that. You can feed it. Basically just a budget version of the Ibo app. Um, Alright... This is some uh, instructions that I guess I'll read. And there's a blank page for some reason. I'll just definitely doodle something in there. I'm gonna doodle this guy in there. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna try to turn him on just yet. Because I think after 7 days uh, being uh, in transit, I think his battery is probably dead. Knowing that it only lasts like 1 hour. So let's just take a better look at him. So uh, the head... The head moves up and down a bit too. So it does, but you have to kind of force it. The ears are just limp on here. They're not uh, controlled or anything. They're just completely limp. 
and they don't do they don't actually move they just move when the dog moves so like um so there's no uh there's no rotation of the head diagonally okay so this uh in order to move the actual like uh this thing you have to move the whole thing it moves like this kind of flimsy i mean you can literally see the gears in there um this is how it moves so it's just a uh, roly roly poly thing this other leg can can we just make him sit down just just by moving the Okay, this is the most we can do. Okay, look, we can make it sit down. Okay, now he's sitting down. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. We made him sit down. Look. Alright. See, he's sitting down. Okay, I'm having a, a bit too much fun with this. So, the waist doesn't go up and down. It just moves side to side. Um, the tail probably has a little thing that shakes it a bit. And that's pretty much all the movement this has. It's not really lifelike. I'd say it's more like a robot dog thing. It's not supposed to be lifelike. It's more like just robot cyborg thing. So he's pretty small. A bit smaller than I expected. Like, it's pretty small. Um, the LEDs, we can see them in there. I'm gonna make a video after I charge him. And uh, maybe tomorrow when I'm sure that uh, it's all charged. And ready to move and see if it actually works. I'm pretty sure it does because the seller said it's new. It even had a thing on the screen, a screen protector. Let's take a look at the USB as well. The USB looks brand new and never plugged in. Like I don't think, I don't think someone ever untangled this. It looks like it's been like this for a while. So maybe this dog isn't even used. So um, it might just be completely brand new. And uh, if you're wondering, I paid like, uh, what, uh, let me translate into USD. This thing was about, um, $40. So I think it's a good price for a brand new knockoff eyeball until I get an actual eyeball. So let's take this off. Alright, hopefully not break it already because it's really, it's probably high quality, uh, low quality. Since it's probably from China, I'm, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Get back in there. Alright, let's hunt it. So yeah, this this looks like it's new. Like, brand new, never used. So maybe they just, maybe at most, turned on this thing. But I think it's all brand new. It's just the box has been opened. And the instructions looked a bit um, crumbled. Maybe they looked on the instructions as well. But I'm not sure. Alright. So I untangled this. I guess I can just plug it right in. It didn't say anything especially about not plugging it right in. I like putting a power adapter or something. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna read the instructions again. Make sure I did everything right. And when this guy's charged, I'll make a video of it working if I do manage to get it work. Although I have high, f high hopes for this guy. I think he does work. Um... The joints seem to be in nice condition, no limp legs or anything, which is um, surprising because probably an eyeball, an actual eyeball would already have limp legs. But uh, yeah, also the tail is a bit dusty. That might be from the packaging, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll check him out uh, in a few, maybe tomorrow, I think, tomorrow's video. And I'm gonna make a few videos of me interacting with it because there's no videos or proof of this guy on the internet. So I've been looking around. The only thing I can find is either like um, official videos from the manufacturer or people that have probably been paid by the manufacturer to make review videos. I haven't been paid just to be just to be sh sure. Just to be clear, I haven't been paid by the manufacturer to do this. Uh, I actually found this online and. Got it fair square. I don't really know what it does, but I'm gonna see. Um, so the box, puppy, go, AI, dog, intelligent pet, bar, blah blah blah. It says Android and iOS, but the app is only iOS. I I I tried to find it, and a lot of people have been saying that uh, you can't find it on uh, Android, and uh, they're right, you can't. 
you can get it from Aptoide, which is where I got my Furby apps as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Uh, yeah, goodbye and thanks for watching.